Joel Balbas from Palawan and assigned to Mexico, Cuba, inventory. Our gift to the world, we were gifted to give. Brothers and brothers, we begin with a simple prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest that I may share with humility and with the heart, not just with the lips, and that people listen with their heart, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit. Amen, Lord. So, dear friends, let me start saying I turned 68 last October 1. So, St. Therese of the Child Jesus, patroness of the mission. Uh, gawa kayo ng rhyme. 68, feeling great at 68. Pwede. No regrets at 68. Ilan? Uh, Father Conrad, ilang taon na po kayo? When, uh, 48, yan. Si Father Eugene, anong 30? Feeling uh, groovy at 30. Yung mga ganun ba? Gawin natin ng rhyme. And uh, well, let me just share with you, the first thing I did as uh, October 1 was to kneel down, as I always do in the morning, to kneel down and say, thank you. Thank you, Lord, I'm still alive. And as my usual ritual, um, you know, you wash your face, and I always look at the mirror. Every day makes somebody happy, di ba? Ano kang dapat mapasaya every day? Simulan mo sarili mo. When you look at the mirror in the morning, umiti ka. Tapos sabi ko last Friday, oh, Lang, lang namang bumabati pa sa atin di, batiin mo sarili mo pumanta ako, sabi ko happy birthday to you 68 na tayo 67 ako last year 69 na next year po napangiti ka na salamat po mga kapatid ito lang po ha, during this pandemic Alam natin, alam ko, 67 ako last year, tapos na yan. State ako ngayon. 69 ako next year. I don't know. Wala pong nakakaalam sa atin kung mararating pa natin yung sunod na birthday na. So what are we saying here? Just be grateful. Don't worry kung makarating ka pa ng 69. That's not the point here. You decide to make every day the best day. Kung saan ka man maparoon, basta every day. Yun lang po ang aking wish for every day. And you know what? I am grateful next to the Lord. I am grateful for my parents. Let's offer our Mass today. Alalahanin natin mga magulang natin their hard work, their sacrifices. Marami silang pinagdaanan para sa atin. May God bless and reward them. And yun na lang pong they stuck it out with its other through thick and thin. Yun po. Today, especially, the gospel is about what God has put together. Let no man put asunder. Stay together. Dami po sa mga couples na nakikinig ngayon, I know maraming pinagdaanan. Mga away-away, halos maghiwalay. Pero kayo pa rin. Mga paghihirap sa buhay, yet you continue. Temptations, sickness, wala. Walang nakapaghiwalay sa inyo. Pag-ibig ng Diyos. So we humbly Thank God, the source of all love. Yung gracia po ng Panginoon. You know, 
marriage, a commitment is not just between two people. It is sealed with God's love. That's what it means. Salamat po to all the married people. And thank you, Lord. And um, I have one simple sharing with you. Can I share with you the, a picture of my mama? Ah, well, my papa, I don't have a picture right now. But ito, whenever I look at the picture of mama, I won't go. I'm just smiling. I'm happy. Because I'm reminded of all the love, the sacrifices she and Papa did. Today, will you please look at the picture of your mother, your father, and just be grateful. A picture can paint a thousand words, di po ba? Ito pong challenge. Sana years from now, yung mga anak nyo, mga apo nyo, they will still look at your picture. At matutuwa pa rin sila. At mapapangiti pa rin sila. Baka naman ayaw nilang makita na yung picture mo na naging malupit ka sa kanila, naging masama ka. Please keep that in mind. May your children and your grandchildren carry that love in their hearts. And it all begins, mga kapatid po, sacrifice. Why is the church saying no, no divorce? Ano man, I know this is a very unpopular uh, stand of the church, but the church will always say no. Hindi pa rin. And in fact, if I'm not mistaken, dito sa Pilipinas, tayo na lang yatang walang divorce law. All over the world, or was there some other... But please, you know why? What is the bottom line? Oh yeah, siyempre maraming mga human rights, I am entitled to my... Fine. But the next line, the gospel, after talking about divorce, Jesus says, let the children come to me. Para sa mga bata. Everybody has spoken about contraception, about abortion, lahat about divorce, except, except the innocent children and the unborn. So this is why this, because once you open that gate, sunod-sunod na po lahat yan eh. We continue to, to really believe in the sanctity of marriage. At uh, wala naman pong problem child eh. Mayroong problem parents. Sa totoo lang po, there are no problem children. Nagkaroon yan kasi nagkaroon ng problem parents. Paalala lang po, it's, it's a relationship that requires a lot of sacrifice, a lot of letting go of your personal desires. You just want to have fun, you just want to be free. Yeah, but how about, anong epekto sa mga bata? Let the children come to me. To such as these belong the kingdom of God. Alam po nyo, mayroong kwento nga po yung nag-date. Eh, nung magbabayaran na, sabi ng girl daw, oh, dapat ikaw magbayad. Kasi tignan mo, ito yung menu, oh. Tignan mo yung word menu, men, you, pay. Sabi naman ng lalaki, alam mo, kung titignan mo yung word na menu, me, and you pay together. Yan po ang problema eh. Kung hindi na maganda yung samahan, synchronize, wala na yung together. Come on, the next question is, me and you. Me and you against the world. Tama ba yun? Or you and me. You and me against the world. Sino na una? Me or you? Huwag na natin pag-usapan yan. Together nga eh. Together. Sisters and brothers, saludo po ako sa mga mag-asawa all these years. Ang daming adjustments eh. Ang dami nang nag-give way, ganun. Give and take. Congratulations for your patience, perseverance, and prayer. Ito pong tatlo ang makakatulong sa samahan. You must pray, you must persevere, and you must be patient. 
Salamat po sa bang effort. Not only for your own sake, but for the sake of the children. By the way po, how is the pearl formed? Ang iba dyan na nangunod ngayon, maraming mga pearlas. Ano-ano mga borloloy. Alam niyo ba paano na-form daw yung pearl? Well, according to the story, a grain of sand, buhangin, comes inside that pearl. No? Two halves, dalawa yan eh. Pagpasok po ng buhangin yan, napakasakit, irritating yan. You know, talagang halos mag-give up na. But what does the shell do? Instead of breaking up, giving up, ang ginagawa po nila, they work on that grain of sand, patiently, lovingly, every day, sige lang, they work on it with so much love. Until after some time, that painful, irritating grain of sand has become precious. Naging perlas. Husbands and wives, whatever problems you have now, that is a potential pearl. Don't give up on each other. Remember yung kanta ninyo? Don't give up on us, baby. Yun. And then after some time, magkakaroon na ng pearl yan. Your children are your pearls. Precious. And, mga kapatid, stay. Stay and don't give up on us, baby. By the way po, please don't forget yung mga nag-golden jubilee na. Meron po kong nakwento na maganda eh. I enjoy golden wedding anniversaries. One wedding anniversary, ganda no, yung, kwan, yung celebration. The next day, according to this story, breakfast na yung mag-asawa. Normal breakfast na. As was the habit of the husband, ito na, iniwan niya yung tinapay uli for the past 50 years, ginagawa niya yun. And binigay niya yung dulo, dulo ng tinapay sa wife niya. Binigyan ng wife, binayang niya, sabi niya, no more, sabi niya, no more. For the past 50 years, palagi mong binibigay sa akin yung dulo ng tinapay na yan, na sumabog na. Kahimik lang yung husband. Mumiti siya, and sabi niya, Magsitigil ka. May sasabihin ako sa'yo. Alam mo ba, my dear, all these years, gustong gusto ko yung dulo ng tinapay. Favorite ko yan eh, yung parte na yan. But because of my love for you, every day I say, I start this day with love and sacrifice for my dear wife. Kaya binibigay ko yan every day sa'yo because I love you. See? Love is sacrifice. Of course, love is communication. Yan. But one wedding anniversary, naka-wheelchair na nga po si husband eh. Nag-renewal sila. Pagdating ng renewal, yung nagsalita yung si, si Mrs. Alam mo, sabi, tiniis kita all these years. <laughs> Ito ganun ka, kadiretso, no? Ang dami kang sinungaling, pagsisinungaling sa akin. Alam ko lahat yun. Pero sabi niya, and this is a line I think she borrowed from us. But I decided to love you, stay with you. And I said, I'd rather go on living with your lies than go on living without you. Wow, pet malu. And I ask the people there, ilan sa inyo mga misis, masasabi nyo yan, ibali na sa mga kasinungalingan mo, kaysa yung wala ka sa akin. Siyempre, ay, naku, martyr naman yan, sobra naman yan. No, look, she made a decision. She made a choice. In spite of all the pains, that I'm going to stay, stand by you. Who are we to tell her, ay, mali yan, mali. She made a choice chose to love and sacrifice. But it, choice. Every single day, you renew that, the vows you made. Okay? And mga kapatid, oh, pakicheck ka natin. Please, there are no perfect families. Wala pong perfect family. Pag sabi mo sa akin, Father, wala kaming problema sa family namin. 
<laughs> baka ikaw ang problema nila. There are only people who don't give up on each other. And for those who go through difficult beginnings, please don't give up. God is understanding. Don't listen to what people are saying in judging you. They don't know mga pinagdaanan mo. And God in His wisdom, in His love, will embrace everyone. I, my heart goes to the children. We start, or single mothers have to take care, naging tatay, nanay siya. Don't give up. God's grace. At walang perfect husband, perfect wife. Wala po. O, di ba? Yung rings of marriage, pakicheck nga po nyo. Nang ring nyo, nung kinasal kayo, engagement ring. Pagdating ng wedding day, wedding ring na. O, tapos kasal na kayo, dumating na yung suffering. Tapos dumating na yung bearing. Ayan. Tapos dumating na yung ring, boring. Ay, boring na father. Nako, mag-ingat yung mga husband. Wandering, philandering. Nako, yan ang magpapagulo sa buhay. Mga misis naman, domineering. Squandering, paring. Don't forget the last three things. Caring. Continue to be sweet. Go holding hands pa ba kayo? Dati pa na'y holding hands. Ngayon, nag-go holding hands sila. Self-defense na lang. Diyan nagkakahawakan lang ka. <laughs> Caring. Does your husband still open the car door? Still things may nalang, di ba? O, oh, pag nakakita ka raw ng husband na binubuksan yung sasakyan, na para sa misis, baka bago yung sasakyan na yon. <laughs> anyway, bukod po sa biro, mga kapatid, stay caring, sweet. That's one of the things I, I noticed with my papa and mama, if I may share. They tried to be sweet through the years. Through the years. Ramdam mo eh. Naramdaman naman natin. Kung may away sila, I remember those times. Si Papa, nagtataas ng boys. No, but you know, and nag-explain. Lawyer siya, kung misan pa nag-i... And Mama would say, oh, no, hindi naman, hindi naman. Ganon, nagpapakumbaba si Mama. And maya-maya, nag-sorry na. Importante po yan, the little things. Caring. Number three, last, the last ring, sharing. Continue please to share. And please remember, husbands and wives, the biggest sharing you have are the children you leave behind who will become good citizens, good Good persons, good Christians, Catholic. That's your greatest trophy. And finally, persevering. Don't give up, no matter what happens. And mga kapatid, please remember, time, again, wala nga pong perfect family. At tayo may cross. Remember, the husband who came home, in-embrace niya yung wife niya, O oh, bakit mo ako ina-embrace? Mula lang, sabi niya. Binuhat pa niya. Ano ka ba? Sabi niya, wife. Bakit ba? Ano nangyari? Gagaling ko lang kasi sa recollection ni Father Jerome. Sabi niya, eh, when you go home, embrace your cross. <laughs> In-embrace niya yung cross. And lift up your cross to the Lord, no? That's a story. But baka naman makuha na naman ako ng anti-wife. Pero naman kwento yung namatay na husband. Kapang, ganun. Eh, nang binababa na po, kabaong, ba, natumba yung isang nagbubuhat, dumiretso po yung kabaong, tumama sa pintuan. Bam! Bumukas yung, nabuhay, nabuhay yung hasban. Ay, nabuhay, di nabuhay. Di nabuhay. <laughs> nabuhay. After six months po, namatay muli. Mayroon na namang lamay. Itong araw nang binababa na naman yung kabaong, sabi ng misis, please, handahan lang ha, tahandahan lang. Baka tumama uli, baka mabuhay muli. <laughs> Ganyan ang kwento. Eh. I'll ask you one simple question. When people think of you, ano yung pinagdadasal nila? Are they praying na sana mahaba pang buhay niya? Pait niya? mga anak nyo, ganun dasal nila. Baka naman may nung nagdadasal na, Lord, unin mo na siya, Lord. Diyos ko, 
Baka ganun, wag po. Pag ganun pong sinabi, better start thinking anong klaseng buhay. What kind of a life? Brothers and brothers, let me just end with a simple thought. Oh, by the way, people are dying. I have so many funeral Zoom masses. Even pati po sa ICU, mga t- yun na lang, basta madinig lang. Mag- I remember one ICU moment. Ex-seminarian, Tony Aquino. Unconscious na siya. Eh. I prayed anointing virtual. And I don't know, I sang the Salve Regina. Any seminarian for that matter. Pag kinanta yung Salve Regina, Hail Holy Queen, Mother. Mayroong kang chord na talagang ramdam mo yung pagmamahal ni Mama. I was almost in tears, crying alone, uh, singing alone for Tony, mending him to Mama Mary. I know he was not conscious, but I know I'm sure he was so singing. Month of the Rosary na po tayo, October. As Mama Mary, pray the Rosary for the families. The family that prays together. And we pray, panlaban sa COVID-19 na yan. Rosary. A grocery po tayo. Don't forget that. And uh, please remember today, all couples, may I invite you now to come and bow your heads. Couples who are together now. Bow your head. If you can hold each other's hands, just feel this moment. Years ago, you met each other. Years ago, you decided to get married. Years ago, you had nothing. Any of you now, now, you've done very well. Years ago, you had no one. Kayo lang. Now you have children. You have grandchildren. Thank you. You've done very well. And years ago, you had God. You believe that try your best, all will be well. Kasama niyo siya. Salamat. Kasama mo pa rin niyo ang Panginoon ngayon. Marami ng pinagdaanan at kayo pa rin. So we remember with gratitude. Try to remember that kind of September. Yes. Try to remember nung 60 pounds ka pa lang. Try to remember mahaba pang buhok ng sister husband. A lot of things. Remember with gratitude. Rejoice. Yes. Second R is to rejoice. Salamat po. We're so grateful. Rejoice. We don't count what is missing. We count our blessings. And we you. So we renew day before the Lord. Again, Lord, we renew our love for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. And again, I, invoking the Lord's blessing upon you, the authority of the church hereby confirm and bless again the bond of marriage you contracted years ago. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please don't forget, all of us have a mission. Congratulations. The groom may kiss the bride. I remember one uh, marriage renewal, vows renewal in Cana, Cana in the Holy Land. Yun. Mga married couple, nag-renew. Yung mga byuda, mga byudo, yung mga walang sawa, nag, nag-review, nag-review na lang. Mga walang sawa talaga, nag-view na lang. Whatever, all of us have something to renew today. Whatever is your, whatever is your situation, whatever you choose renew that. And I would like also to thank all of you 
those who greeted, thank the birthday. I appreciate it. Please pray for me. I, I have no agenda except to bring the Lord's message of joy and love and hope, especially this time. I remember saying after I had my cancer, how the Lord helped me with St. Ezekiel Moreno. Ang, ang battle cry ko is simply this, the rest of my life, the best of my life. Sana po tayo lahat, sana all. And for me, inspire or you expire. That's it. That's all. God be the glory. Thank you, Mama Mary. Amen.